Welcome back to the show. This is your host, Janice Jackson. Amen with Gospel TV, My Gospel Soul. Now this next sister of mine coming to the, to the uh, show, coming to the chair, amen, is prosperity. Amen. We have had a blessed time in God. We was in there just acting a fool for Christ. Amen. Clowning. We're out here at Mount Zion Bible Fellowship Church. Getting our praise on. Now, Amen. prosperity, you ministered something in that. Yeah, you know I have to put you on the spot. Amen. This she started off with a heartbeat. Amen. And then it flatlined. Y'all, y'all had to, well, I got it on video. She just clicked on one of them clips. Amen. If it says prosperity, you need to hear that. Amen. Look, so we're back together. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So, What's going on? Tell me what's happening. What's going on? What's going on? Well, in my life, um, let's speak on the poem that you were talking about. Um, it's called Lifeless. Mm -hmm. And the reason for it being lifeless is because a lot of people think they have time on this earth to do whatever they want to do. And they always say, I got time. Mm -hmm. But when is it a t good time to get ready? Yeah. And so Lifeless came about because a lot of people that I know and known have passed away and I always thought about Lord did they finish their assignment on earth before they leave and so God uh, as I was driving actually I, please yeah do not do this at home <laughs> <laughs> I was driving and writing at the same time as I was coming to Mount Zion mm -hmm. to minister um, this poem and God just gave me every word to say mm -hmm. and to do Amen. in there and um it was just truly a blessing because a lot of people believe that, well, I got all these goals and everything lined up and this is what I'm going to do, never knowing what might happen for them to die. You know, and, and everybody knows that they're going to die, you know, um, before Jesus comes back. And so it it's like that poem really did um, say that, hey, you need to get yourself together before anything. You know, and, and and if you die right now, are you going to heaven or hell? So you need to reevaluate yourself and and see where you're going to end up. You, you, know, you know, it's so awesome that God is revelating that to you. Uh, I find out I find out that not a lot of people are talking about that anymore. Now it's just feel good sermons. Yeah, it's a uh, prosperity cause in prosperity. Let me tell y'all what prosperity is. It, the word of God says that you should prosper as much as your soul prosper. So if you are not feeding your soul, anything that you have in your possession may not last always. Um, so we're out here at Mount Zion. Amen. Yes, Amen. Having a oh, great time. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's, I mean, we have to tell them a little bit about how the power of God failed in that place. Oh my it God. Failed. It moves. Oh Lord. All the what what gets me excited about God is for one, I'm serving him, I'm saved, filled with the Holy Ghost. But the second thing is to see you doing the same thing. Uh, and, and and that just excites me when you see uh from the ages of two, one and up, you know, praising God. Yeah. And and knowing that, you know, out of the mouth of babes is Truth. Oh, the truth come out of the mouths of babes. So yeah. and when they praise and it, you just get uplifted from them. And every youth tonight and every person and every artist that went up tonight truly blessed me and blessed everybody that was in there. And, and God fell. And it was just, man, it was, <laughs> you should be here right you, now. Let me tell you something. And, you, and, you, and if you are on this channel, then let me tell you something. Click on the clip. If you, if I'm gonna put power of praise. If you see a clip that's just a bunch of, look, let me tell you what it is. It's the power of God at its best. Amen. Moving, Moving in Moving. the place. Because it's not about us. Not at all. Now you got some awesome stuff coming up. You, yes. You're about to head where? To Dallas. Now look, let me tell you something. <laughs> I ain't allergic to traveling. Amen. <laughs> I'm gonna get an itinerary, a schedule. 
and keep up with my girl because I'm trying to try to make amen some of these moves. Amen. Yes, she gonna tell on, me where she on. at then. She gonna get me to Dallas and tell me how to get to her when, wherever she is in Dallas. Amen. 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 And then so just tell her, I mean you're going to Dallas what, what's happening? Yes, actually there's a youth explosion event in Dallas, Texas at Gospel Tabernacle off of Masters Drive in Pleasant Grove. If anybody know that area, um, it's going to be August 6th, 7th, and 8th, and there's going to be much, much ministering there. It's going to be food, praising God, everything that you can imagine, all glorifying God. Uh, so if you have time, if you want a family trip, a family event, and you want to just go out, Dallas is not far. So come on out to Gospel Tabernacle. Look it up. Pastor David E. Martin uh -huh. is the pastor of this awesome church. Mm -hmm. If you want to, just come on out and praise God with us. It's a bring all the youth that you can. Load up on your cargo van uh -huh. and come out to Dallas, Texas, August 6th, 7th, and 8th. And not only see me minister, but also my fiance, the, the, key, the key to perform and minister God's word and to, to speak fiance. spoken word um, in honor of God. And so come on out to Dallas, Texas, August 6th, 7th, and 8th. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. 6th, 7th, and 8th. 6th, 7th, and 8th. I'm already eight. in my head trying to make some points. Come on, Amen. 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 Now, this is prosperity. Y'all yeah, know I always have to get her like this. She's going to do a little bit for us. Amen. Before I tell you to click on the next clip. And she also going to give you some contact information. This is prosperity. Okay. This is freestyle poetry, where anything goes with this incredible beat. So sit back and enjoy this treat. Freestyle words that don't flow, but it gives your mind an incredible blow. I thought you knew, just like Betty Boo with her blush red cheeks. Everyone with the views on the new movie Passion. Don't know that this movie is inspirational and spiritual and change one individual before you criticize and terrorize and down and mesmerize the meaning of something that has blown to mega size. It's a shame that we take in vain God's word and holy name. Look around, what do we see? Solomon and Gomorrah all over again. Gays and lesbians getting married in church and you know that's a sin. The wickedness and deceit in some people with high authority is sad because this world is getting bad. And most of us are afraid and not glad. Freestyle continue. I thought I was through with this flow. I guess I'm not. God has given me favor, so I have to show how awesome he is, how great he is, how glad I am. He died on the cross for my sins. 2,000 years ago on Calvary, we see all the fake imitators who are trying to be like the originator. Just like Lucifer, you be kicked out and humiliated. You better stop while you have a chance because God's wrath is no joke because he can destroy you with one glance. Most people talk about wars and terrorist attacks, and they blame it all on the Bush generation. Is that a fact? Come on now, get President Bush to break in some slack. This is the end time. God is using people to do his will no matter if they're in high authority. We the people have judged so many be the first one to say that he need to leave because he's starting trouble with Iran's and Iraqi people. We need to realize this was going to happen no matter if Bush was in office or not. God's word is written and it's coming to pass. It will be delivered right on time. Better pay attention in class. Stop being afraid. Get your life right by getting saved. Most people talk about the, the president is killing our troops. But you have to realize, they knew one day they would have to do something like this. Go to war, take out the sword, protect their life because they fighting outdoors. If they don't do it, who will? You might say that's harsh and they shouldn't go. I don't see you being the first person knocking at the door. God don't come to hurt people that say He come to steal, kill, and destroy. It's a shame how we call on God's holy name when times get hard, when something goes wrong. We also give him the blame, and the devil is laughing in our face. We don't even know it, and that's a shame. It's so messed up how twisted we are. One minute we're praising him, the next minute we're blaspheming him and cursing him, sitting here speaking in vain. Lord, forgive us as we cry out and our tears fall like rain. So I hope you can get something from this freestyle poem because this world is about to end. And if you don't get your life together, it's a shame you died in sin. Now that's the end. Everybody be blessed by that, okay? Amen. Once again, this is Janice Jackson with my girl, Prosperity. Amen. Going to be in Dallas, Texas, where? August 6th, 7th, and 8th at Gospel Tabernacle, Pastor David E. Martin. Look it up. Look it up. And Look by the up. way, click on the next clip.